Hello, Sweet Tooth here. I hope your day is going well. I'm gonna play some of my Monstrum! Because I am so anxious to just beat this. Junkfish. I actually like this game a lot. I would like it if they toned down the tracking in the AI just a little bit. Because it doesn't really make too much sense that it can zone in on you so well. Like the Hunter. The hunter should be able to zone in on you, but not the big guy, and not the phantom. The hunter should be able to track you really well. The other ones shouldn't. So the fact that I made one little noise and the guy just stuck around, you know, like he was all the way on the other side of the ship, and somehow he knew exactly where I was. I find that ridiculous. I had all the stuff too. I just needed him to go away for just a few seconds. That's not too bad. Nothing. I got a pretty good idea of how things are in this game. Can I take the fuse? I should be able to take the fuse. What I like to do is I like to get right out, uh, run, right out in the open, so that I can run. Because watch, the monster is going to zone in on you. And being out here allows me some running space. And it's nice out tonight. Alright, so who is it this time? I think it's a hunter. Oh, it's, a, it's the hunter. Oh, the submarine's a bit hard. It's a bit hard of an area to go to. Once again, I got the welder kit. Another lighter. Oh, you get different notes. Ship doctor's report, February 14th, 1977. Received pu- Yeah, you can bring this up for objectives or notes. So you have objectives and notes. Received two patients, ABS, G, Chekhov, and C. Wilson, with second degree scalding to face and upper body consistent with exposure to pressurized steam. Both patients were showering when burned. Luckily, they were found quickly and every treatment administered. Wounds were cooled and cleaned, loose dressing applied. 
Discharge with instruction to avoid physical labor, which could rupture blistering, causing infection, and of course, pain. Prescription relayed to Captain Mickelson for ship rota adjustment. Dr. Zhao, copy received by ship quartermaster for archiving. Well, if there's one thing I can do on this, is try to get all the notes, wherever they are. I'm okay with that. Even if I don't, like, survive all these times. At least see what the game's about. This game is extremely hard. It's harder than you think it is. You on fire. You like it? You want me to light you on fire? What are you doing? I'm not coming out. What the fuck is that? I need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. Seven. Captain's log, entry 74. Brody and Fred came to me today. Britt hasn't returned or reported in from maintenance for three days. I've shared the news with the rest of the crew, but no one's seen him. We searched the entire ship, found his tools near the boiler, covered in black suit, but he seems to be gone. Didn't seem like the type to jump overboard, but it's looking likely at this point. Getting the rest of the crew to believe it is proving difficult, though. They begun moving around bound the ship in pairs as an unwritten rule. Hopefully they'll come to their senses in a few days. And accept what's happened. Rather than believing in sea monsters, with Chekhov and Wilson sticking to their bunk, we need all the remaining crew on top of the Pacific for the Pacific crossing. Oh, so I'm in the Pacific Ocean? Captain Johan Mickelson, February 18th, 1977. Interesting. Moving on. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ah! What? 
the heck? Oh my gosh! This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Absolutely nothing. There's a light switch. Turn that off. I can't look up there. It seems like everybody evacuated when they found the monster after the monster killed the first person. That's what it looks like to me. Ooh, I don't know. No one. I was looking through the container manifest on Night Shift, and there seems to be a misprint. Container 106 lists T Lun as its point of origin. I've never seen this serial before, and it doesn't match any of the other container blocks on board. Thought you might want to look into this. Look into it. Good morning, Brody. Hunter's got some beef with me. Go from one ship to the one side of the ship to the other. Try to get some ample space between us. <sighs> it's gonna drive me crazy. What floor, what deck was I on last time? Is this one? I already searched all this. I was already here, too. The submarine. Try not to make any noise. Like, I know that's what attracts them, but gosh, the tracking on the monster is just ridiculous. The monster just knows where you are. Hands down, just knows where you are at all times. Let's get this all s set up.
Excellent. Now, if he doesn't come right now, I'm going to be surprised. two items. I need the headlight and the battery for the uh, submarine. Locking both the doors. Hey, that's cool. Looks like a local phone system. Maybe if I restore the power to the air, I can make use of it. Well, I don't have another fuse, so that's out of the question. Oh, I, I think he can come in here. He just hasn't figured it out yet. I'm just trying to take a good look around. Just one second. Where is he? I'm going to unlock both doors because I don't want to lock myself out like I did last time. So I'm exiting this way. trying to do is I was trying to go through the containers to see if I needed anything down here. I was rudely interrupted by the guy. I'm not even making that much noise. I mean Ridiculous. See, that's a lot of noise. I don't see anything.
Yeah, I don't see anything. There wasn't much for me to get down over here. Get over here. a waste of time. There's the stairs. Let's get out of here. Return if I ever get the other stuff I need. Because he entered the area, but I don't think he knows exactly where I was. Where would the life raft be? I found a headlight up there last time. It's obviously a place you can look, or should look. stairs is over here. This is where I want to be. I'm just going to go up to the uh, bridge. Absolutely nothing up here. <sighs> this game is hard. This game is hard, man. It's like you can't find anything you need. I just want to have run running distance, running places I can run when he inevitably shows up. And the hiding spot's not even there anymore. The hiding spot changes. Well, that's interesting.
I've seen this before, so I do know some about this. I want to get rid of the inventory. So I'll put that on. Of that chase, you can't go through doors, so I'm okay to be in here. Nothing in here, though. Damn it. Note nine Fred, there's a hole in the engine, it looks melted inwards. You need to send the rest of the engineering down here. There are noises coming from further down the shaft. I'll check for the fire while waiting for the others. Bring the captain. We might need to mayday. Keep Ellis out of the way. Now he's back without with you. Couldn't go half a step down here without getting jumpy. There's absolutely nothing in here. Except for that. Alright. Just need to find some more materials. Turn out the light. That just gives away my position. Unlock both doors so I don't lock myself out. Lock him out. Alright. Absolutely nothing. Continue on. <laughs> oh, you are persistent. Anyways, that's going to do it for this recording. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. This is Sweet Tooth. 
Man, hopefully I can beat this game. Hope you have yourself a good day. This is Sweet Tooth, signing off.